Oh, what's good? We're about to tap into another scary TikTok video. Let's tap in. And I prayed about it, and I thought, I'm not missing that dedication in Jerusalem. Without the airplane that we have that I bought from Tyler Perry, and I didn't pay anywhere. And Tyler's one of the greatest guys. He made it. He made that airplane so cheap for me. I couldn't help it. He looked. He looked. He look, he look possessed and shit. You know what I mean? He look like he, he weird and all type of stuff. He look like he on some weird stuff. Ain't even gonna cap. <laughs> well, my question then, well, 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 okay, all right, but I want to get to the demons because people are very concerned about that comment. Give me a chance here, Inside Edition. I love your eyes. Do you ever use your private jets to go visit your vacation homes, for example? Yes, I do. Okay, again, getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Can you explain what you meant by that, yeah. that by that term then? Just, just explain, because it's really simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? Test your phobias. Entomophobia. to the end you can fully hear a woman crying That's a night, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, man, I'm not, I'm, I'm not staying there, man. You got to be <laughs> messed up, man. I am not staying there if I'm hearing that creepy shit. Man, get the fuck on with that shit, boy. I'm, I am not staying there. You got me fucked up. La Llorona is a ghost of a vengeful woman. Back in the day, it was said that she was responsible for drowning her two children. The spirit of her is still alive and lurks near bodies of water. You can often hear her just crying over the death of her children. So do you think that he encountered her? Let me know in the comments below. You should not overtake this yellow Volkswagen. Deep in Malaysia, along the Carrots Highway, there is a supernatural entity that takes the form of a yellow Volkswagen waiting for its next victim. Legend has it that the driver of the vehicle found out one day that his wife was having an affair and had left with everything that belonged to him. With revenge on his mind, he jumped into his yellow Volkswagen Beetle and sped down the highway in an attempt to find his wife. However, he soon lost control of the vehicle and perished in a horrific car wreck. Well, it is said that till this day, his angry spirit still roams the highway in search of his wife. The yellow Volkswagen is said to appear in front of motorists and will slowly reduce its speed, challenging highway users to overtake. Be careful, because if you do, the yellow Volkswagen will have you trapped, going in loops along the highway, never being able to reach your destination. Now, interestingly enough, people still don't know that. God wants you to read a Bible verse for him today. If you feel distant from the Lord, it's probably that. Wow, they had a yellow car that they, they have a spirit. Ain't they made a movie about like a car, a spirit was in a car? I forgot the name of that movie, but 
damn, bro. Like they had. I remember they made a movie about that shit, about a car that that was moving by itself and all type of. That's crazy, bro. Like, so they they throw this stuff right in your face, boy. Jeez. Jeez. What you doing? What you see? What? What you see? Uh uh, who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. The dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Can't ready to go to bed, must have. What the fuck is that? What? Imagine getting married only to be decapitated by your husband three months later. 21-year-old couple Jared and Angie got married in October 2022. Around 4 p.m. on the 11th of January, police were called to their home in Texas. Police made a grim discovery in the pair's bathroom after finding, quote, what appeared to be the head of the victim to be in the shower, end quote. Angie's body was discovered on the floor near the bed in a pool of blood with multiple stab wounds to her back. It was actually Jared's poor parents that initially made this discovery after entering the home. They then obviously alerted police to what they found. Jared was arrested and has confessed to killing his wife with a kitchen knife. Jared was actually captured on CCTV, casually stealing a bottle of beer from Angie's workplace just minutes after it's believed that he killed her. Angie's friends have reported to police that the couple's relationship was toxic and Jared was very controlling. Jared's bond is currently set at $500,000. Disturbing things caught on camera, part one. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't, I don't see what you gain out of that. Y'all had some prison. So many damn years your life going, boy. Y'all dumbass. What a dip fuck. We're helping our friends celebrate moving in when we noticed. You just moved in? Sorry. Time to move out. That's a demon. That is a full-on demon. I can follow for part two. People now think there's drone footage that confirms that this ghost is real. Oh my god. So since the 1980s, locals in Canuck Chase in the UK have claimed to see the ghost of a black-eyed little girl in the woods. Multiple witnesses have reported seeing a little girl with soulless black eyes and a crooked neck popping out of the woods. Some say she's searching for her mother and others say that she feels demonic. But now reports are saying that a drone may have caught a photo of her. This is the image that was captured this week, and people are saying they think this is the girl. Here's a close-up image of it where you can see her hair, you can see her crooked neck, and you can see the black eyes. But what do you think? Is it her? Big buck or something. This is why if you're ever out exploring on your own and... <laughs> what, what was that? What was that? A costume? Or what was that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man, this shit be crazy. That shit crazy. You hear a random voice? Never go looking. This man was out exploring places on his own when he heard this. he was smart enough to run away my name is bella and if you like the spooky and mysterious hit that plus button this is my new account and i'm going to be posting only that type of content and i'll see you guys next time this is one of the scariest ghost stories i've heard so now everyone's got to hear it back in 2003 there was this group of deployed american marines who got moved into abandoned military housing that was dubbed ghost town it got the name because apparently the first group of marines that lived there only made it a week before they couldn't live there anymore they said they couldn't sleep the entire time they were there like all night they would hear the sounds of children laughing of like footsteps upstairs when there was no one there i talk about it this week on the podcast but one night the new group that had moved in had to go out and patrol the area so there walking through the neighborhood like past a bunch of abandoned houses and then 
all of a sudden, one of the Marines just starts screaming. He throws his weapon down and just takes off running, like, through enemy territory with no weapon. So half of the Marines chase after him, and then the other half turn around to see what he was screaming at. They said that behind them, there was this creature that looked like a shadow come to life. It was really tall and skinny, but they said it had these bright, glowing red eyes. But before they knew what to do, it just vanished. The craziest part is that multiple other people have reported seeing this exact creature, like, in the area. If you want to hear more of these stories, you've got to check out the podcast this week. Soon, boy. It look like that shit coming out of your dream or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see it. He had yellow glowing eyes. Yeah, he, demi- he a damn demon. Hell no, boy. I'm running. I ain't even. That shit be crazy, boy. <laughs> that shit crazy. I swear the creepiest stuff always happens in hospitals. So Katrina was a nurse in the pediatric oncology part of the hospital. And she was looking after this one little boy that was in rough shape. It seemed like his treatments weren't working anymore, but despite all this, he stayed in pretty good spirits. And he would always wear his Spider-Man costume. Like, every day, always in the Spider-Man costume. Sadly, the little boy eventually passed away from his cancer. But then, a few months later, a teen boy gets admitted down the hall. And this was after the little boy had already passed away, so there was no overlap between the two. This boy was also in pretty rough shape and his treatments weren't working anymore. But then one night, a nurse hears him talking to someone inside of his room, but there's no one there. So the nurse goes in to see who he's talking to, and she can't believe what he says. The teen said he just saw a little boy dressed as Spider-Man in his room talking to him. And this little boy was telling him all about Marvel and all about how much he loves Spider-Man. The teen boy ended up passing away a few weeks later, but that story always stuck with the nurses. To watch this. And it featuring for 130 abandoned flats, and there is something in the window. Yo. You see me, but then there's a light. Dumbass, just going to go check it out. <laughs> oh, boy, what the fuck, boy? I'm going, boy. I am not. I'm dipping. I am not standing there, boy, or walking towards it. Where, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm never swimming ever again. No. If you want more unsolved mysteries, then check out my YouTube video. I just dropped this one, and we talk about a whole bunch of scary unsolved cases. Think about it. You're not going to believe what this guy accidentally caught on camera. Watch carefully. The Slender Man. Oh, hell no. Hell no, boy. Crazy as shit. I would be scared seeing some shit like that. Hell no. It's a pale humanoid figure lurking in the background. Bro encountered like Slender Man or something. Let me know what you guys think this is in the comments below. I don't think I'm ever going to get this shit. This is your. This is your. Jesus. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. It's my kitchen. And here we go with this shit again. We're just gonna wait and see how long it goes. It's never not. Stop! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
fuck, though. I'm, I'm leaving that fucking house. That house is haunted, boy. Hell no. You got me fucked up. Okay, that works. Okay, so it seems to be wanting to happen now more in the afternoon. But just to prove there's nothing there. Jesus Christ. This is the cord in question, the coax cable, and it, you can see here, it goes directly from here down to my Wi-Fi, so I could, I guess, open it like this, but one, I would probably be in the way of the camera here since I'm standing here, but um, let's try and test this. Here's the door latched all the way shut. I mean, I'm pulling on that pretty hard and it doesn't come out. But if I were to do this and open it, this just kind of pulls the Wi-Fi back. So, I mean, if this cord was the thing that was pulling it, this probably would have knocked off. But I don't know. Yes, absolutely we can, because I think everyone is obsessed with this and the fact that I do not have it secured. Uh, but as you can see, this goes to my modem, and that is all. It's an old building, so in front of every apartment, they've had to uh, drill holes and then feed these in through you know all this to kind of update it. But this building was built in 1932, and if you can't tell, hasn't really been updated too much since 1932. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. be living in these damn haunted places and shit, boy, hell no, man, I'm leaving, boy, you got me fucked up, <laughs> that shit crazy, if you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide, any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself.
Wow. <laughs> Damn, that's creepy as shit. But good editing, though. <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe, share the video.